Thanks for joining me today. This is Danny and welcome to my Thoughts Essentials tutorial on how to claim chunks and to protect your land on a server using Thoughts Essentials. Thoughts Essentials land claiming is based on teams. You are a member of a team and there could be other people in your team and your team claims the land. So the first thing you have to do in order to claim any land is to either join an existing team or start a new team. So to, to start a new team, you do create team, and then you give the team a name. So let's say I want to call my team Danny1. So I just created a team Danny1. If I run the command my team, I will see that I am currently a member of team Danny. You only have one team that you're that's currently active. So right now I am in team Danny. Um, and if I want to claim some land, all I have to do is stand in a chunk. If I do F3G, in vanilla Minecraft, that turns on the chunk boundaries, so I can see where the chunk boundaries are. And if I'm standing right here and I say slash claim, I have claimed this subchunk. So what's a subchunk? It's a 16 by 16 by 16 area. Um, and actually, as you can see, when I flew up, <laughs> you can see in my chat, it says exit land, message team exit land. And when I come back down, it says message team enter land. And that's basically the default um, message for when you enter or leave a land. So if I go over here, it says exit land. If I come back over here, it says enter land. Um, so now this area is protected. I can break blocks here, I can place blocks here, but nobody else can unless they're a member of my team. Um, and if I want to change this message, I can edit my team. So edit team and use the enter um, subcommand. So edit team enter and then whatever I type after this. So welcome to Danny one land, whatever. <laughs> so now if we leave, we get the weird exit message. When we come back in, we get welcome to Danny one land. So anybody who comes into this area will know that they are on um, the land of team Danny one. And if they can't break blocks, then they'll understand why. Um, so then we can also change the exit message and say, Thanks for visiting Danny One Land. Come again soon. Um, then when we leave, we'll see that message. When we come back, we'll see it again. You can do claim all. And what that will do, I'm not going to do this right now, and I'll tell you why in a second, but and what that will do is it will claim the entire chunk all the way up and down to bedrock. Now to unclaim a land or a chunk <laughs> maybe you couldn't have figured this out on your own but uh, unclaimed this unclaimed this land for team Danny okay so now we're not getting the exit message and we're not getting the enter message so that's one of the reasons that you have to be a little careful about using the claim all command um, because if you claim this entire chunk and then you want to unclaim it you're gonna have to go every 16 blocks which <laughs> you can see are the blue lines and unclaim every chunk all the way up and all the way down. Um, and that and the reason that is the case is because there's a bug, because there actually is an unclaim all command, which is supposed to unclaim the entire chunk, but it doesn't. Um, it doesn't seem to be working at the moment. So now if I want to invite someone to my team, and because I want someone else to be able to break blocks in my claim or open doors or whatever, I can team invite and then the name of the player. So let's say I want to add Alpec to my team. I guess the player has to be online. And then that person, when they go into te team invites, they will see, I have no team invites, but they'll see a list of their team invites, a list of the teams that they've been invited to, and then they can click on the team in order to confirm the invite, and then they'll be a member of that team. So you invited me to the team. It says new invite to team Sigma. And I can actually click in chat, and I, now I've joined your team. So now I can break stuff. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you, you are now entering Danny and Elpic land. So that door is not really open. <laughs> and there's the deny message. Because I am no longer a member of this team, I cannot open this door. Now there is a little bit of a desync issue here, um, because I'm on a server. The door is showing me that it's open, but it's not. It's really not opened. Um, I can get in this way though, because <laughs> I'm sneaky like that. And if I try to go in here, it's going to say message team deny. So 
if we want to change that message, again, we can do the edit team deny. I'm not in this group. Right, right, right. Okay, so now I'm going to join this group. So join team Danny. That was actually the name of the team. So I'm now in this team. So now I can open this door and walk through it and everything. Um, and then if I change the message, the deny message, sorry, you can't do that because this area is claimed by Danny and Elpec. Okay, so there's our message. So now if I go back to my other group, um, now if I try to right click on this, I'm gonna get that message. Sorry, you can't do that because this area is claimed by Danny and Elpec. Hey. You can kick a player from a team and then just put the player name. So if I wanted to kick Elpec, I don't want to play with him anymore. <laughs> I don't trust him anymore or whatever. I can do that. You can also set a team admin. So let's say I want someone else to be able to not only use my claim, but also to add to be an administrator in it. I can do that. And then there's also a remove team admin. I can list the team admins. So if I don't remember who I all gave permission to admin my team, I can do this and I can see that only I am able to admin this team. And I can list members to see all the people in my team. And right now there is just one. With the join team command, if you are an app on the server, you can join any team. So it doesn't, you don't have to be invited to a team. You can jo join any team you want, and then you can go in and administer it or whatever, do what you got to do as an admin. Um, normal players who are not ops can only join teams that they create or teams that they're invited to. There's another really nice way to claim a whole bunch of chunks. Auto claim. So auto claiming is now on. So running the auto claim command toggles the auto claim feature. So now what's going to happen is as I'm walking around, it's going to claim every sub chunk that I'm in. And you can see that blue line right there. That's a different sub chunk. But we go down here, I now claim that sub chunk too. So I can just run around and every every chunk I touch, <laughs> I claim. I go up here, I claimed another one. Don't forget to turn it off or you're gonna end up claiming more than you ex more than you expect you decide to. you don't wanna be in anybody's group anymore or you don't, you don't wanna be in a team anymore. You can just leave team. And then you will be left, then you will be a member of no teams. So that's all you really need to know as a player on a server. Now, if you're an admin of a server, um, you do have to enable the, if you have Thoughts Essentials installed, but by default, the chunk claiming is disabled. So you do have to enable that in the config. Just go in the Thought Essentials config file and set the land enabled equals true. By default, it's false. And then people will be able to do this. Um, if you also have Thoughts Essential, or if you also have thoughts permissions, you're going to have to get the list of commands. Um, you can go to the thoughts essentials website and get the list of all the commands, and you can, and you'll have to add those to the groups of the players, probably to the default group or whatever, um, whatever, whether, whatever other groups you have of people who you want to be able to claim um, chunks. So if you do have any questions or if I missed something or didn't explain something real well, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and I will get back to you. Um, and of course, if you did enjoy this, if you learned from it, feel free to click the like button too. Thanks for watching.